guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Evelyn today's video is me sharing some life hacks some study tips and ways to save money while in school even if you're not in school these tips are really great to just have period um, and before we get started I do want to say this is obviously another video from my back to school series and I have two more videos uh, to end out the back to school series which is my back to school haul and my back to pack essentials um, I also hopefully will be doing a uh, back to school giveaway and before I do that, I did want to say that I kind of don't know what you guys would want. So if you could, please leave a comment um, down below what kind of stuff you would want at, for a giveaway. Um, I was lucky enough to be sponsored by another brand to do a giveaway with them. And uh, it's the same brand I've done before. It's Firmo Glasses. And they basically gave me an offer to give one of my subscribers a free pair. So I thought it would be a great um, idea to do it for back to school. So I was thinking of giving the glasses with like some school supplies and hopefully like a gift card or some stuff like that. And I was thinking of probably doing two people. So it would be a YouTube winner and then it would be like a Instagram winner. But I'm not sure yet. I'll explain all the rules later. Just make sure you... Um, you're subscribed obviously turn your notification bell so you can know when that giveaway video is up and yeah without further ado let's get into the video so i'm just gonna jump right into it so the first thing i have on my list is a bunch of ways to save money so the very first way is saving money online looking for pdfs or books or checking for check or slug and ask so basically me i learned the hard way actually not even the hard way. I just learned that I just don't like paying for things full price if I can get it for a cheaper price I'm gonna search so this is really for college students when you're looking for your books for classes and your professor is telling you the book is like $30 or not even $30 or telling your book is like $200 my best bet to you is go online and search to the end of the world until you can find it for cheaper. I had a chemistry book I believe I needed that was supposed to be $170 and I found it for $14 as a PDF. Like, it just takes like, sorry my leg, uh, it's just that you have to really look for it. It does take time and if you know you're impatient, probably like ask people that have taken the class already, be like, hey, do you have your book still? Can I use it? Or like, hey, uh, do you know where I can find cheap books? Or sometimes you don't even use the book in class, so it's like a waste of money. So just, you know, be mindful with that. And also Chegg has books that you can rent. Um, Amazon has books that you can rent. Another one that I found about is, I think it's Slug and Ask, or maybe it's just Slug. I'm pretty sure it's Slug and Ask. But yeah, so those three definitely have uh, books for cheaper. So you can just type in the, I think it's the ISB, ISB number, and then the book should pop up, or at least a older version will pop up and you'll be able to find like a cheaper amount for the book than paying like the retail price of the book that is supposed to be like $300. And then imagine you just paying 50, you know? So keep that in mind. My next tip is for everyone. This is for my shoppers. People like to shop online, anything, honestly, electronics, phones, cameras, clothes, shoes, accessories, all that stuff. Keybase basically is a site that gives you money back from shopping at certain stores. They don't have all stores, but they have majority. Like, I think, like they have Nike, Forever 21, PacSun, uh, I believe they have Champs, Foot Locker. I don't know if they have like, I think they have Lululemon. They have everything. Any store you can think of, they usually have it. So basically what you would do is, you would go on that site first, and I'll try to put it over my face so you can see it. You would go on there first, type in the store that you're looking for, and then it'll take, you'll, it'll basically show you all the coupon deals that they have, and then you'll click the one that most fits to what you're buying on that site. Click it from there, and it'll take you directly back to that website, get all the stuff you want, and then check out and then the money will be in your like Ebates account type check thing. And it's connected through PayPal. And once you accumulate enough money, the money will be sent to your PayPal account and you can cash it out to your bank account and use it to shop again. It's a really great way because you're basically getting your money back from shopping. And who doesn't like getting money back from shopping? I know I do. 
So <laughs> another way is probably uh, just the cheapness in me, um, saving your coins. Like coins add up, bro. I remember when I was younger, I actually saved like $95 worth of coins. It came out to be very useful because I was able to shop and I, I obviously love shopping as you can tell and you'll be able to tell when you see my haul yikes anyways um yeah definitely just saving your coins literally just putting a bunch of coins in a little jar I wish I had my jar to show you but I don't know what it is but like just fill your jar with a bunch of coins and once it gets full enough just go to your local like grocery store that has a coin star and literally just pour it in there and you get all your money back except I think it takes like a little percentage but it's not that big of a amount unless you want it on a gift card you get the whole amount but either way you still get money back and it's a great opportunity to you know get yourself some coins you know get you your money for real so that's another way to save money next way to save money is always ask if they have student discounts it doesn't matter if you're going out to eat it doesn't matter if you're going to the mall the movies the grocery store because i remember there was one grocery store i went to that was not in, it wasn't in texas though but they gave discounts to students and senior citizens and military like all type of you know service people so i'm just like wow that's great because you know i'm broke <laughs> um but yeah always ask um you know if you have your edu uh email address use it i'm telling you it gives you money like coins especially unit days you can use that and you get basically free coupons from there but um yes always ask if places have um student discounts most stores do have student discounts in store you just have to ask they don't have it plastered all over the place for you to see but if you ask they're like oh yeah we have a 15 percent off for college students or yeah we have a 10 percent off tickets for college students like just ask it doesn't matter the worst they can do is say no <laughs> you know so it doesn't hurt to ask next way it isn't really a way to save money but i mean can um it's just if you like to travel and it's basically traveling on a budget i'm gonna leave her video below it's morgan yates and she basically explained everything you need in order if you in order to travel as a college student so i'm not gonna really touch too much on that because you should just watch her video which was really informative and really great but yeah the next way you can save money is opening a savings account basically that you can't touch um this is a great way especially for college students um so you open an account somewhere else that you don't normally bank at somewhere else that doesn't charge you interest by the way too um open that account put money in there time to time and um you'll basically accumulate a lot of money later on when you really need that money you can go in that account and get it out and use it for whatever needs may be necessary my next tip is for college students um basically getting a ca or ra job so rent in college is clearly expensive if you have the opportunity to be a ca or ra um i would say definitely take it although it does take it's a lot of like time and it's time it definitely is time consuming but i know for the school that i just left pb um i think it was half off your rent and i i know it wasn't fully off your rent but it's like half they basically pay for half of your rent you don't have to pay half it because you're a ca but it does take away from like your social life because you're always either on call or needed and you know all that type of stuff but it is a great opportunity for you to save some cash and having to pay like 664 dollars for rent or like 800 dollars you'll pay half of that amount but you know it's something to definitely think about if you're interested you should definitely uh, apply for that job uh, i'm gonna get into the life hacks and the study hacks so my first hack and this one is just period life hack for college students again um rate my professor though i'll teach a lot of students don't have a rate my professor um it's good to look before you pick your professors to know how they are but then you kind of gotta be looking out for the ones that are kind of sketchy because some people just rate professors bad because they don't want to study but um it is a great a great um i guess i'm not gonna say investment because you're not putting anything in it's a great like option because you're able to figure out like oh what is this professor all about how they act how is their class settings how are they with their office hours all this type of stuff but for the most part you do want to go into the, every class with an open mind and just hope for the best but it is a great way to see like how the teacher is or how students say the teacher is so definitely 
if you're trying to figure out how your professors are, go to rate my professor. Another tip for college students or just students in high school as well. Um, this is great for like reviews or just during lectures or during class, voice recording the lectures or like the class time. Um, I'm more of a like, I like listening things after a class. I don't like, I'm not, okay, so I don't really like taking notes in class. I like taking notes when I'm done with the class and like going back to my apartment and like writing it down myself because I like to write in like different colors and stuff like that. So I would just basically put my phone on the desk. I mean, I'm still paying attention, but I'm not writing as, as, um, like good notes as I should be because I know I'm going to write better notes when I get back to the, my apartment or going to the library to write them all down by myself. So I would just put my phone on a voice recorder and just let it play and let the professor talk the whole entire time, play it back and just watch it. Sometimes it does play a little slowly. So another tip is to go to iMovie, import the voice memo and then play it two times faster of the speed so you don't have to sit there listening to like uh, those random moments of silence and stuff like that but it is a great idea for some people who just can't either take notes fast enough or don't like taking notes in the class setting and rather take notes later on another tip this is for everyone even for high school junior high college postgrad all that stuff um, is this app called um, self-control and basically, actually it's not even really an app, it's on your computer. So you would just go to self-control and it'll just make sure that you can't get on these apps for a certain while, for a certain amount of time. So I to like the 10 apps that I showed uh, and I'll leave in the cards up here so you can see it. So that one uh, basically just doesn't allow you to get on certain apps. So like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those type of apps. And you can also do it on your phone like the apps I showed before on the other video. Um, it'll just help you concentrate so that you're not distracted by social media all the time and I've been using it for a while and it's really been really helpful because I do get distracted especially when people text me even though I put my phone on do not disturb you can still see the notifications but with self-control it basically doesn't let you see anything It'll, your phone will be literally blank it look like your, it basically looks like your phone is dry although my phone is like that anyways but back to the point um but yeah that is a great um app to get if you can Okay, so this tip I got from another girl. Basically, it's like a way for you to have a feel of what your classes will be like taking a certain professor. So um, you would type in, sorry, I have to look at it, uh, site.edu and then you put the subject and it'll show like the exams, study guides, old tests, etc. to just basically give you a feel of what the class will be like when you take it. And I think that's a great, Thing and I really wish I knew about this before. I'm about to be a junior, so it would be really helpful freshman and sophomore year. But I feel like it'd be great to tell y'all so that you can share it with someone else as well. And I'm gonna try to put it over here too so you can see it. But yeah, it will just basically show you a bunch of old stuff and you can kind of get a feel for what kind of professors you have and how they how they give tests, how they do reviews, how they do exams, all that other stuff. And yeah. So the next tip I have for you guys is um, to plan ahead and try to beat the syllabus, have a clear guideline for assignments in advance, also read your notes just because frequently. Um, that way when the test comes, it's not as hard to study and like hardcore studying won't be necessary. Basically, there's not much to say, I said everything I need to say in that one. The next tip I have for you guys is to basically color coordinate. This one might just be me, but I find it way easier to study um, if all my notes were like in different colors or the important keywords were in color if I don't want to write everything in color so write your notes out write them in color if you want to or write everything else in pencil underline the keyword and just highlight it as well that works too um, it just helps me remember the words more because I don't know I see things in color <laughs> like more like like I remember things more if it's in a different color than in a pencil so that's just another tip for anybody that's more of a visual learner it just kind of helps me go back to remember the keywords that i know i need to study or i need to remember my next tip is to get an agenda this is just probably common sense to everyone um it just helps you keep organized keep you up to date if you have things planned this is a great thing to have if you don't want to get an agenda iphone obviously has a calendar so does android phones um it just kind of keeps you in order 
of things that you have to do, what you have to do. If you have an upcoming test or maybe an upcoming quiz or an assignment that has to do at 12 online or a paper or you're supposed to go hang out with friends or you have an interview coming up, anything like that, you can just jot down and you'll have it on record just to know like when it's. So my last tip for you guys is study in increments, basically um, breaking down your study time so you're not cramming and just a personal experience. Don't cram. It's not worth it. I've done it before and I was successful, but it's just truly not worth it. That's why you should break it down and study on you go. But back to the tip. Um, studying in increments basically I mean by say you're studying for biology or this works for high school as well. Say you're studying for biology and um, you study for 30 minutes, then take a break, um, probably like a 15, 20 minute break. Come back and study again for another 30 minutes. Take another break. Do something to keep you moving. And then just continually, continuously do that. And it will just help you kind of memorize things and remember. And instead of you just trying to study all the information all at once without getting distracted, which is kind of hard for a lot of people, um, I say that's a great way to help you just kind of like retain the information that you need to know. So I really hope these tips and hacks and money saving tips were really helpful for you guys. If I left any out, make sure you leave a comment below to let me know. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Make sure you don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when the giveaway is up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.